Hey, I'm Leah Daniels, and you're watching Favorites on Live in Limbo. My favorite part about winning Breakthrough Artist of the Year is the fact that it's Factor Breakthrough Artist of the Year because I honestly would not be where I am today without the support of Factor. Um, they were right there from the very beginning and I, yeah, I cannot thank them enough. We are so lucky to have Factor here in Canada. My favorite song to perform live is one of my songs actually called Dream Without You. And we do it a couple different ways as a band. It just depends on the show. Sometimes it's acoustic, sometimes it's full band. And it doesn't matter how we do it though, I just, I guess I just really connect with the lyrics. It's a song that's really close to me, so I always love performing it. My favorite artist right now is probably Adele. I've been really listening to her new album and just loving uh, the sincerity of her lyrics and the musicality. So I've just been listening to a lot of that and like jamming out to it on the piano. So yeah. I think what makes Adele unique to me is her lyrics and her songwriting. I feel like she really does put herself into the into the words and you know the best songs are songs that come from the heart and I just get that with her so that's why I love Adele. You know what okay my favorite person actually right now to follow on Twitter is Jack Johnson surprisingly because he's really involved in protecting the environment and I am too so I just I got on following his tweets and I just love all the things that he does when he's on tour um, to try and uh, conserve and uh, protect our environment. So I've been checking him out. My favorite way to find new music is honestly from the internet. I'll see different things that my friends have posted online or tweeted about and I'll check it out. That's, I think that's the easiest way for me to find new music. My favorite part of touring is probably the fact that I get to visit so many different places and try so many different kinds of food, because <laughs> I love food. <laughs> when I'm feeling really stressed out, my favorite thing to do is just go outside, go for a walk in the fresh air, um, with, in a forest if I can get to a forest, and just be still and be quiet, and um, by myself. I think that's how I recharge, is when I'm by myself. My favorite lesson that I've learned so far is get comfortable with being uncomfortable. <laughs> I find that um, so much of what I'm doing is getting, kind of going out of my comfort zone and challenging myself. And, and when, I'm, when I feel that kind of nervous excitement feeling, I know that I must be on the right track. So, like that one. I think it's really important for self-growth to always go out of your comfort zone because you're going to be experiencing new things, meeting new people. Maybe it's talking to someone that's going to lead to your next connection, to a next job. So I always, I always do that. I don't know. It's like you're living, living on the edge. You don't ever want to get too comfortable. I would say my favorite musical accomplishment so far was having my first single go back, go top 20 at radio. That was such a huge thing. And um, for me especially, I'm an independent artist. So to be able to accomplish that with my whole team together was just so amazing.